The second season of Virgin River recently dropped on Netflix, and it's safe to say fans are going to have a tough time waiting almost a year till they get the third installment of the series. The recent season left viewers with one heck of a cliffhanger, making the wait between the two seasons even more grueling. Thankfully, there are a ton of shows to help pass the time. Here are some of our top picks, starting off with Sweet Magnolias. Netflix is definitely taking advantage of the popularity of some good small-town drama. Both this series series and Virgin River showed viewers just how wild things could get in the most seemingly sleepy little towns. Plus, both shows are also based on a series of books. The story of Sweet Magnolias follows the lives of three friends who are all going through different challenges in life as they try to start their lives anew by opening a joint spa. Much like Virgin River, the show loves dishing out major cliffhangers for fans to chew on while waiting for the eventual release of the next season. Up next, we have Heart of Dixie, the Amazon Prime exclusive is a great show to get into while you wait for the potential third season of Virgin River. There are also many similarities between the two shows, making it nearly impossible to enjoy one and not the other. Much like in Virgin River, the show tells the tale of our main character, a pretty medical professional who moves to a small town only to find out that the doctors there seem to have no real need of her presence. Plus, even Tim Matheson, the actor who plays Doc in Virgin River, also plays the doctor in this show, further connecting the two series. Not just that, but the romantic romances and love triangles also mirror those seen in Virgin River. Moving on, we have Chesapeake Shores. Back in 2016, the Hallmark Channel released a series called Chesapeake Shores, revolving around a series of books of the same name. The main character, yet another combo of beauty and skill, decides to move back to her small town home in order to help her sister out with the goal of saving the family in. However, a surprise romance catches her off guard. This romance series will definitely remind fans of Mel's journey, who had originally set out to throw herself into medical work, only to end up getting caught up with Jack, leading to a romance quite similar to the one depicted in this series. Following up is Schitt's Creek. While it may lack the dramatic element of VR, it's still a great option for fans of the hit Netflix series. Characters in both of the shows find themselves living their lives in a small and foreign town, with the main characters, much like Mel, having every intention of returning to their big city lives following this hiatus. However, both the Rose family and Mel would end up having their feelings changed and that they would grow attached to their small town life, the people they met, and all that the quiet little town had to offer. The next entry on our list is Northern Rescue. The series revolves around a family man who moves his family from their busy Boston life to his hometown of Turtle Island Bay. The family, being impacted by the traumatic death of the mother, finds life to be much more peaceful in the quiet little town. In Virgin River, Mel had also decided to make her move under similar conditions, escaping the devastating loss of both her baby and husband before moving. Both of these series have incredible emotional weight, pulling on the viewer's heartstrings with every new episode. Up next, there's Everwood. The show features Dr. Andy Brown, a prominent New York surgeon who's dealing with the loss of his wife. Deciding that it was necessary to make a major life change, Brown packs up his stuff and takes his teenage son and younger daughter with him to the small town of Everwood, hoping to be a better and more present parent. The show is charming, chock full of drama, and a lot of times a real tearjerker that'll have you reaching for your nearest tissue box. After that, we have Dawson's Creek. Despite being an older series, the show's still just as entertaining and relevant after being off air for so many years. All the main characters in the show are going through different types of life-changing events as they come of age in their quiet little town. Back during its heyday, Dawson's Creek used to be considered quite a groundbreaking series for taking on some really controversial and weighty topics, such as mental illness, addiction, loss, and much more, never choosing to backing down from those tough conversations. Moving on, at the halfway point of the list, we have Gilmore Girls. The show's somewhat of a cult classic, and it's easy to see why people enjoy it. It centers around the life of a mother and her daughter navigating life in a small town that's filled with interesting residents. Having a set of female lead characters as well as a cast filled with little town busybodies, Gilmore Girls has many themes similar to that of Virgin River. Plus, with seven seasons at your disposal, we will have no trouble passing time while you await the return of your beloved series. Heartland comes next on our list. If small town family-friendly dramas are your cup of tea, then you'll definitely love this entry. There are also currently a whopping 15 seasons 
seasons of this Canadian drama to enjoy, which is both a testament to the show's quality and the fact that it kept fans hooked for so long. Heartland is yet another great show focusing on loss and the healing that comes from a small town and a loving family, with the main characters Amy finding meaning in life by healing horses following the loss of her mother. Not to mention This Is Us. One of the biggest dramas in recent years, This Is Us tells the story of the Pearson family across several decades, exploring themes of loss, love, and lethargy in a world that grows increasingly difficult to navigate. It's a remarkable touching story full of emotional plot twists over the course of six seasons, plus with the influx of new characters constantly joining the fray, you'll always find something new to look forward to. The next entry on our list is when the calls the heart. This Hallmark Channel series revolves around school teacher Elizabeth Thatcher, who abandons her high society life in New York in order to turn over a new leaf in a small Canadian coal town. There, she runs into a group of strong women, all of whom work and live in the rural town following the deaths of their husbands. The series is sure to pull fans of Virgin River in with its similar premise with the additional trappings of a period drama. Also, we have Emily in Paris, one of the recent Netflix series to find its way into the cultural spotlight. Emily in Paris explores the life of the titular young American woman pursuing her career in France, finding both love and loss abroad. The series has certainly found its audience over the course of the two current seasons, with fans constantly debating the actions and decisions of the protagonist throughout the series. Although this Netflix original sticks to its comedic aspects, both series seem to focus on similar themes, uniting their fan bases. Next, we have Bridgerton. Set in the early 1800s, the period drama stands at the top of its genre in recent years. It stars a large cast of characters that are played by lovable actors, becoming somewhat of a phenomenon in recent years, with many collaborators finding fame through the success of the show. Bridgerton's set on becoming the definitive romantic drama of its time, exploring themes of interclass tensions, romantic taboos, as well as many other mysterious endeavors in a way few shows can masterfully combine. For the most part, the series is an improved version of the best qualities of Virgin River, with the main difference of being set in 19th century London. The penultimate entry on our list is A Million Little Things. This drama series tells the story of a group of friends dealing with the loss of one of their closest companions to suicide. Each member of the group has their own way of dealing with the grief, while they also try to discover the reason behind their friend's decision to take their own life. A Million Little Things has managed to connect with its audience thanks to its heartfelt themes paired with heavy emotional moments, exploring both the darkest corners and brightest sides of life. Finally, we have Jane the Virgin. The romantic comedy that's framed like a soap opera ran for a total of five seasons receiving widespread acclaim during its 100-episode tenure on air. Whereas other similar shows choose to play many of the soap opera tropes by the book, Jane the Virgin instead opts to satirize the genre in truly hilarious fashion. If you're looking for a break from all the ceaseless drama, you can instead choose to laugh at the obscene and bizarre twists in this comedy, finding comfort in its amazing writing and performances. That's a wrap for this video. Which one of these series is your favorite? And is there any show that you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.